Builders Mutual Insurance Company presents Toolbox Safety Talks. In this talk, we'll focus on overhead power lines. Contact between crane booms and power lines cause more fatalities each year than any other type of electrical accident in the construction industry, primarily because the operator doesn't have good distance judgment looking up along the boom and is usually paying attention to the load. Thus, it is difficult to be sure of the exact location of the boom tip at any given moment. The best way to avoid contact is to keep the boom at least 10 feet away from any overhead line. This may mean storing material in a location that is not under the wires, assigning someone to watch the boom tip when work approaches a power line, or asking the power company to temporarily de-energize a line or protect it with rubber sleeves. Power Lines – Safe Practices Locate and identify overhead power lines. Look up and always treat them as if they are energized. Remember when using a crane or any other high-reaching equipment near energized power lines, the minimum distance between the lines and the equipment must be 10 feet plus one half inch for each 1,000 volts over 50,000 volts the line carries. When you do not have a clear view of the power line, request a dedicated observer. The observer's only job should be ensuring that the safe distance is maintained. When in doubt, contact the electric company to determine what voltage is on the lines. Always ask the electric company to de-energize and ground the lines or install insulation while you are working near the lines. Maintain a minimum safe clearance from the power lines even if insulation is used. Always make sure ladders and tools used near power lines are non-conductive, such as fiberglass. When using ladders or assembling pump jack scaffolding, be aware of overhead power lines when lifting the equipment into place. Thank you for watching. Visit buildersmutual.com/rm for easy access to toolbox talks and sample safety programs.